Actually, we met in March 2014 when I just came in, uh, and now I'm going. So I feel uh, very sad uh, to leave your beautiful country. Uh, I consider my, uh, though I consider it's a short uh, uh, stay, but uh, I think I can uh, summarize uh, that I have achieved uh, in my mission by promoting uh, political understanding, by enhancing trade and economic uh, uh, collaborations, um, then promotion of uh, cultural interest and people-to-people -people contacts. This uh, preferential trade agreement, uh, now uh, Government of India has uh, approved uh, for expanding uh, the agreement from uh, 700 items to 3,000 items, which means uh, the trade and collaboration between the two countries will be uh, not only expanded, but also diversified. Uh, I mean that it can also cover a lot of products in almost all the areas of the economy, uh, particularly agriculture, fisheries, um, uh, and uh, chemicals uh, industries. We are also trying to finalize and conclude uh, three important agreements, uh, on one on uh, establishment of Joint Commission, uh, second is on uh, double taxation avoidance agreement and third is on bilateral investment uh, protection agreement. It's a very prestigious and flagship program uh, launched by uh, Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi um, uh, after he came to power in May 2014. Uh, Make in India, um, it's, uh, it's not only uh, talks about uh, uh, manufacturing, it talks about um, liberalization, it talks about uh, development agenda and uh, making uh, the business environment uh, favorable to the investors and generating employment. Uh, it is a win-win situation for uh, both investors and the local population. Um, it has a lot of benefits uh, for both uh, parties. Uh, I must say that um, since the launching of Make in India, uh, uh, huge investments have been received, almost $40 billion in terms of uh, pledges, in terms of uh, you know, investments have been, uh, have been received in India uh, in all sectors. Though India is already uh, a known IT power in the world, uh, Digital India has its, uh, its, its objective to make uh, the whole population of India uh, digitally educated, uh, which means that people have uh, the knowledge and, uh, knowledge and uh, use of uh, soft power, use of computers, use of uh, information technology uh, to their advantage. Uh, as uh, somebody has said, uh, information is power. Uh, through information, uh, through the access to digital technology, we have access to technology, we have access to information, we have access to development issues. It keeps the population educated about what government is doing for them and what uh, world is uh, what is happening all over the world, uh, and uh, particularly for the areas of interest to the population. So it has huge advantage. Apart from Digital India, we have a, another program called Skill Development. Uh, skill development has also its great uh, objectives for generating skill, uh, for improving the existing skill and generating new skills, uh, which will bring um, the confidence, uh, the, the more value in the employment market and uh, also uh, in the international uh, and global market, the value for Indian professionalism and expertise. So it has its own objectives. Uh, then another one or two uh, um, flagship program like uh, Swachh Bharat, that is Clean India, which is related to uh, health, sanitation uh, and education and rural population. Uh, so it has a huge objective of uh, um, you know, bringing the rural population to the mainstream uh, and also uh, generating um, 
um, the health issues which or the health problems which have can be sorted out by the authorities and also the uh, people with uh, active participation. We had a great stay in Chile. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, this uh, far off country from us, uh, the Chilean uh, economy, uh, the Chilean resilience to you know, inner uh, issues, uh, the Chilean professionalism, uh, the seriousness, uh, the serious business uh, mind, uh, the sincerity for uh, bringing uh, a, a more development and economic strength to the country, the family values. Uh, the people, the way they, you know, they take care of the families, uh, the societies. Uh, these are the some of the values which I'll be carrying uh, with me. We have met some friends apart from my uh, diplomatic colleagues, uh, but also in among the Chilean society, we have made a few friends. Uh, we have understood uh, Chilean culture, but culture always remains a huge, it's like an ocean. I mean, you don't understand till you interact with the society. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, though the time was short, uh, I can say that uh, I have tried to uh, uh, do maximum um, uh, to achieve my objectives for my mission, I, I, which I think I have been able to achieve. But uh, all, it always remains that how you are going to carry on your objective, carry on your mission. Uh, but um, we would miss Chile. We would miss Chile, uh, its economy, its, uh, its natural beauty, its uh, inner strength and uh, you know the people's uh, love for India uh, and for them some of the Chileans have told that uh, India is like a dream for them. I would say that uh, Chile is like a dream for us. <laughs>